Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1995, so one of the very last uh, on an M registration, um, Jaguar XJS 4 litre automatic coupe. Finished in Kingfisher blue with, uh, I think it's doe skin leather, could be cream. Um, this one's only done 52,000 miles, uh, had one lady owner for a number of years. Um, structurally, it seems to be really, really nice underneath. Um, a local restoration shop that we, we know up in uh, Worcestershire have maintained it for a number of years and uh, um, in their opinion it's very good underneath and having had a, a quick uh, crawl underneath myself I can confirm that in my opinion. Um, however the paint is very tired on it, there's no dents on it at all and there's you know very little corrosion and bubbling coming up but the paint uh, especially on the bonnet and the roof um, full of scratches. The previous owner says it was her cat that did it. Seems to me it's a bit more like a wild animal that's done it, but um, we'll show you in a minute. Um, but I think if it was repainted, it would be one of the nicest extra aces out there, to be honest. But uh, that is what it needs. Um, the later style wheels, it, this one's got the, uh, obviously being a 95 model, um, it's got the, the, the better AJ16 4 litre engine in it. Um, the later wheels with uh, Pirelli tyres on it all round. It's also got a uh, rear spoiler which seems to have been on there from new, it looks like the kind of TWR design. It's really really dent free, I've, I've just given it a quick, uh, a quick clean, can't find any sort of uh, um, any dents on it anywhere really. Wheels could probably do with refurbishing, they have lost a little bit of their lacquer here and there. But let's get down to the nitty gritty of these, um, I won't bother with the little marks on the bumpers and stuff because obviously if it's going to be repainted they need to be done anyway but there's a, yeah, let's just say there's a little mark there above the number plate and another one just here on the edge of the bumper. But this is what I'm talking about up here and hopefully you can see it on the video. Not towards the front of the bonnet, but up here. Should be able to see that. Loads of scratch marks through the lacquer, probably through the paint as well. On the scuttle as well, some lacquer loss there too. As I say, the lady owner says it's her cat that's done it. <laughs> I'd get rid of the cat myself. Um, again, this as well on top of the, the near side front wing along there. We'll look at the scuttle and everything because obviously these do tend to corrode up here. Screen rubber looks to be fairly new in it in fairness. We'll have a look at the other side in a moment. Screen itself looks to be in good shape. Let's see if we can show you in here because that's obviously another corrosion area for these. As you can see it actually looks to be in good order in there as it is down on the bases of the wings, or well, certainly the near side front wing there. Roof is the same. Covered in scratches, especially in the centre. Obviously the cat didn't like going near the edges. Shame, might have fallen off. Um, all the door fits are lovely, as you can see. Interior wise, she's absolutely excellent. We'll just show you, we can see inside the A post there. Interior wise, absolutely superb. Lo and behold, the headlining isn't sagging and it doesn't look as if it's been repaired or replaced. There is a small mark just there, but that's just a mark, I think. Um, but the headlining isn't sagging at the back. The leather is in excellent order as it should be at 52,000 miles. A little bit of scuffing on the driver's seat bolster, but the interior is in excellent order. Um, hasn't sort of lifted badly on the centre console. The lacquer on the dash is really nice. Carpets are all still in place. Doesn't smell damp. It's got the half wood, half leather steering wheel. And unusually, things like the cruise control and everything will still work on this. Show you in the back seats. That's the back. Again, all looking good in there. And the door card. Rear arches, not bubbling. Little 
scuff just there, but not bubbling. And again, we'll see if we can see inside. I don't know if, if this is going to show us particularly well um, the structure of the rear seal, but uh, having sort of crawled underneath it, it all looks very good to me. Funny enough, the cat doesn't seem to have wanted to get on the boot lid because the boot lid is fine. A uh, couple of scratches on the um, rear bumper. Actually, I haven't actually had a look inside the boot. Let's have a look. What are we here? What have we got? Now we've got some mats in there, but everything's all in. Uh, everything's all in place. In the right. Uh, in the right order. Again, looking down the offside, panel fit is excellent. Offside rear wing, again, around the arch, not bubbly. And again, we'll see if we can see in here. You might be able to get an impression of what it's like in there. Let's go back to the roof. As I say, that's one, uh, one cat with sharp claws, if it is a cat. Uh, offside door, again looking at the bottom of the door, all very good. So panel fit and sill fit are as exactly as they should be. A bit of scratching up here as we talked about. Offside front wing, it's very good. Again in there. I don't know if you can see in there or not, um, up on the scuffle. So I think it's had a new screen rubber in it by the look of it. And again, interior wise, on the driver's side, interior is quite splendid on it actually. Just sort of very light scuffing in the leather just down here, but no more than you'd expect. Um, I rather like it. It's actually one of the more honest XJSs I've seen for a long, long time, and it is one of the last ones. Um, but it would, it does really deserve repainting to make it uh, absolutely super. But 52,000 miles and with superb service history. Um, for an XJS enthusiast, it's, uh, it's a bit of a find. Anyway, my name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.